Presidents beginning with Dwight Eisenhower. Diplomats, cabinet members, entertainers, and others enjoyed the course and gave it historic significance. It was conceived by premier golf course designer Dick Wilson as a nine-hole course, later played as 18 holes, and completed in 1965. It reflected the latest developments in the game. Much of the golf uh, up to that point had been played along the ground or very close to the ground. With the uh, advancement in uh, golf clubs and golf balls, uh, golf was being played through the air uh, much more than it used to be. So Dick Wilson's response to that with the way that he uh, put the hazards around the greens, all of his greens are designed to be approached from the air. You know, this is not necessarily an easy golf course by any stretch of the imagination. Over the decades, nature had altered some of the features. In 2010, the golf course architectural firm of Jackson Kahn Design was brought in to return the course to the original design. They reviewed the historic plans and scorecards for course distances and par, and they referred to aerial photographs taken over four decades. They interviewed the first course superintendent, Tony Cuellar, who oversaw the last stages of the original construction. Jackson Kahn's research documented changes to the fairways, greens, bunkers, and water hazards that diminished the challenging features of the course. Here in, in Palm Springs, the dominant grass that's used is Bermuda grass. It's a very aggressive grass. It will encroach onto the features of the golf course, onto the tees, onto the greens, into the bunkers. As grass made the bunkers smaller, blowing sand filled them up. You know, once we got bulldozers on site, when we actually started construction, we were surprised uh, how uh, large the bunkers used to be and how much they had shrunk and how shallow they had become. Um, some of the bunkers had filled in as much as three to four feet of elevation. New plans were drawn up to guide the restoration. The greens and bunkers were rebuilt to their original elevations and dimensions. New materials prevent erosion. The edges and steep slopes are stabilized with a special fabric. A different fabric lines the bottom, allowing water to pass through and preventing the special bunker sand from mixing with the desert sand beneath. In restoring the course, designers sought to make it more sustainable. A new, more efficient irrigation system was installed. Fairways have been planted with a drought-tolerant hybrid Bermuda grass. Areas between some fairways were covered with mulch or seeded with native meadow grass that doesn't require watering, resulting in a 60-acre reduction in irrigated turf. Lakes and water hazards were reconstructed with liners and edges built to conserve water and resist erosion. The restored course is as close as possible to Dick Wilson's original design intent. More so than any golf course probably in America, it seems that much of the political history of the United States from the 1960s onward, uh, a lot of those uh, individuals uh, were here. Being able to go into the locker room and see Richard Nixon's golf clubs, digging into the lakes and finding, uh, you know, golf balls uh, with uh, most of the president's names from 1965 onward, it's just, it's very interesting, it's very fascinating to think of the stories that may have happened out here.